What's up everybody, Alexandra here, and I don't know about where the rest of you all live, but this is what I woke up to this morning. Like, just an absolute snowstorm apparently took place last night, and a winter wonderland outside, and I'm just over it. I am so over winter, you guys, and it's, it's sad because we probably have like a whole solid month, maybe even probably two months left of winter, and what's even worse is in less than a week on Sunday, we're leaving to go on vacation to the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> like, I did not think planning this trip through. I was just like, oh, free trip? Rocky Mountains? That sounds amazing. Let's go in February when the kids are on winter break. Yeah, no, you guys did not think this through. On a positive note, though, somehow, some way, even though the weather is crazy, I'm getting like all of my boxes earlier. I don't ever get any of my boxes this early this month, but here we are. So if you guys are ready to see what I got in my BoxyCharm Premium Box and are ready to see how I created this beautiful birthday party I look because it's my son's birthday today, then let's get into it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have a lot to do in this video, so let's get into this box. Also, we have our giveaway winner for the month of January. So this is our loyal subscriber giveaway winner. I will be announcing that here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's get into this premium box. So I got variation C210-2374-PM. Don't forget, they changed the numbers, so I will put it up right here for you guys. And the first product I am pulling out um, is from Tarte. So this is the Tartiest Double Take Eyeliner. And I feel like, didn't we just get this? Was it BoxyCharm or was it Ipsy? Like, I swear, I feel like I just received this in a box here very recently. So I'm going to set that to the side. More than likely, I'll probably put it in a giveaway. So I'll have to double check. I think we just got that. Next, I got the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And, okay, so I chose this item. And I'm going to be honest, you guys, when I chose it, I kind of thought that it was like a setting powder. But then later on, I was reading and it kind of seems like it's more of like a highlighting powder. I mean, I love more Laura, Laura Mercier products just in general. Yeah, that's definitely more of like a highlighting powder. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, well, it's all right. I mean, I love trying new setting powders. I love Laura Mercier. I mean, she's one of my favorite powders that I use. So I'm not mad at it. So I definitely want to give it a try later. Next, we have something from Bali Balm, and this is the Sweet Orange and Coconut Lip Balm. It seems like we've been getting a lot of eyeliners and a lot of lip balms in our BoxyCharm Premium box. Like last month, I think we got a double eyeliner and a lip balm. This month, we got a dual eyeliner and a lip balm. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at getting too many lip balms because I do go through them. Let's see. Okay, so it's like a little squeezy tube there, as you guys can see that right there. And let's see. Okay, so it's got like a, it does have like an orangey smell to it. I was going to say it kind of minty. It's weird. It's like a, it's like an orange mint smell. Okay, no, it is like a sweet orange smell. That's weird. It's almost, it comes off like orange, but mint, but not. And then you smell like the sweetness like afterwards, you know what I mean? That's very weird, but it does feel very, very nice on the lips. Yeah, okay, so I'm feeling like a little bit of a cooling sensation. There's got to be like some kind of mint or something in here. Yeah, okay, here we go. So peppermint leaf oil, here we go. Yeah, so there's definitely peppermint in here. Like I said, I knew I was feeling or smelling some kind of mint. Next, we have a product by Elemis, and this is the Peptide for Plumping Pillow Facial. It is a hydrating sleep mask for thirsty skin. So I'm kind of like weird about Elemis. Some of their products I really, really like, and some of them I do not like at all. Like I don't like their cleansing balm. 
I did not like that one like primer thing that we got a couple months ago in our BoxyCharm box. So that is what the packaging looks like. I'm not going to open this up because I'm not for sure if I'm going to use it or not. I might put it in a giveaway. I might put it on my Mercari site. And just to let you guys know real fast about my Mercari site, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me why I haven't put any new products on there. I am getting ready to go on vacation. So I didn't want to like post a bunch of products on there and then have people purchase them and not be able to ship them out in time because I ship out really quick. So just, just to let you guys know that. Next, we have something from o Odyssey. Odyssey. Oh my gosh. So I, guys, so this is on Nordstrom. I actually was just looking at this a couple of weeks ago. I want to say maybe a, a month ago or a little more, but I was looking at the ingredients on this. It's a cleansing it's basically like a Meissler water. It's like a cleansing water. You don't rinse it off, anything like that. It takes off your makeup and that kind of stuff. But the ingredients on here were really, really good. And this packaging is hefty. But I, I want to say I think they might have changed their packaging because I think the picture that I was looking at Nordstrom looked a little different. And I'm going to be honest, I kind of like their old packaging a little better. So that's what their new packaging looks like. But this is a pretty hefty bottle. And I'm kind of excited that I got this because I was just looking at it. It's almost like you read my mind, Boxy. All right, last but not least, we have the Huda Beauty Pastels Lilac Palette. Now, if I'm going to be honest, I would have probably rather had the green. Not that I need another green palette. Let's be real here. But I am kind of glad that I got the purple one on, on, you know, the other flip side of it because I've seen a lot of reviews about these palettes. I did not pick these up when they came out because a lot of people were talking about how dusty the actual shadows were. And apparently out of all three palettes, the lilac palette was one of the best ones applied. So we are about to find out right now because I'm going to tell you guys, Huda has been killing it here lately. So there's my son. You guys hear him? He just got excited. Today's his birthday. So yeah, we're having a little party here in a little while. I'm excited. So we're going to be putting this on and getting ready for my son's birthday and trying out these other products. I'm really curious to try out this highlighter. So if you guys are ready, let me clean off my desk and we'll put on some products. Well, apparently I forgot to change my little chalkboard sign there. So the first half of the video, it's going to say Ipsy unboxing when it is in fact a boxy jar unboxing. However, I did have a chance to test this out very quickly in between getting everything cleaned off. I had like some swatches on the back of my hand. Just to give you a heads up, this does have a very citrusy smell, which I wasn't expecting. Um, it, I didn't really smell the turmeric. I didn't smell the holy basil. It just is very, very citrusy. I don't mind that, but I'm just giving you guys a heads up just in case you don't like that. Two of the products, definitely. This is like more of like a sweet orange and this is just like a full on citrus. However, it did take everything off like easy, easy peasy. And my skin feels very smooth, very nice. I'm very excited to try it out on my face later today. So I can't believe that they put that in the box this month. Like I was just looking at that. You guys have no idea. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this palette because as I said, I have a birthday party and we have a giveaway winner to talk about as well. So I did go ahead and prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer as per usual. I mean, I don't always use it, but most of the time I do. And this is the first color that I'm dipping into this little peachy shade right here and it's going on pretty nicely. I definitely see what they were talking about when I watched all the reviews, everybody talking about it is very dusty. That's the one thing that I kind of hate. It's like a love hate relationship. I love Huda Beauty's products, especially here recently. She's really been killing it. However, I don't like with these smaller palettes, like I love them. They're, you know, for the most part, pretty good. But if you try one of her larger palettes, you will never want to use one of these smaller palettes again. Like it's it's that much of a difference between the um, smaller palettes and the newer palettes as far as quality goes. I mean, they're still, again, they're still good quality. I still am going to enjoy using this palette, but I'm just saying, you guys, her large palette, like that Naughty Nudes palette, I... I hate it. I hate the slippery shade. I hate the price point of it, but the palette itself, I love, 
love, love, love, love. Oh my gosh. Like the eyeshadows in that palette are just amazing to die for like blend so easily i mean if you can get that palette on a discount grab it girl because it is so 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 good and i would say probably the same i'm probably gonna feel the same way about this palette like i think these retailed originally for 29 dollars, which is why i did not get them when they came out because first of all her palettes used to retail for i think what was it um 27 or 25 when she first came out with those obsessions palettes but now they're you know 29 and so she's raising the prices on them and you know i mean i get it you're going from cardboard packaging to this plastic packaging but again we don't know if it actually costs more or less to make these because like this is not recyclable the old obsessions palettes are recyclable you know, and, and that's the thing, you just don't know. So by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm dipping into this little purple shade here. I've been feeling the purples lately. I think it's just because like Valentine's Day is right around the corner. I don't want to do anything too complicated today. I just um, want to try these shades out. That's all. All right, so I have to get into this little swirly shade right here. So these obviously work best applied with your finger. Oh, wow. I honestly was not expecting that to come off that purple. Holy cow. Like, I don't know why, but I was thinking that it was going to come off like a little more like gold or I don't know. That's crazy. And that's the thing I will say about Huda Beauty, like her eyeshadow choices, like the color choices. I mean, I wouldn't think that this would go with these, but it really does. Like they really do complement each color, you know, complements the other colors. So that is one thing I will give her. She does know her stuff when it comes to color and makeup and what goes with what and what's going to complement what. So got to give her credit. I mean, she has been doing this for a long time and the girl knows how to make a bang in shadow. I will say that much. I mean, and I love her new foundation, her stick foundation. Oh my God. That's what I have on my face today. I love it. I love the way it looks. Like my skin just looks gorgeous, like just gorgeous. And it's, it's that foundation you guys. Oh my gosh. That look is so pretty. I almost don't want to do anything else to it. Okay. Let me do my other eye really quickly and then we'll come back and finish up the lower lash line. So I started on my bottom lash line and then realized I wasn't filming. So I just grabbed a little bit of this color right here on a pencil brush and just kind of ran it right here on this outer fourth, maybe even half of my lash line right there. And then I'm going to grab a little round flat angled brush like so and grab a little of this tan color in the center and just kind of mix that in with that purple and drag it on in here. I hate messing with my bottom lash line sometimes because it makes my eyes water. Am I the only person that has issues like that? I'm sure I'm not. I'm sure a lot of people probably have that issues, but like it makes my eyes water. It makes my nose run. It just drives me crazy. And then it's like, you know, you're halfway done with your makeup. So you're like doing one of these, you know, <laughs> it just like, no. And I wish there was sometimes a way to like start with the bottom lash line. But you can't always do that. You know what I mean? Unless you're like doing a look that you've already done a kajillion times. And then I'm going to run a little bit of this color right here. Just up here on my eyebrow. Or brow bone right underneath of your brow. Ooh, that's really pretty. That's a really, really, really pretty shade for your brow bone for sure. And it's just like blending right in with that peach color. My eyebrows are a hot mess right now. So please ignore them. I'm getting ready to go get them done. 
I've been putting off my hair and my brows, like waiting till right before I leave for this trip to get them done. So please ignore them because, yeah, they're just, um, yeah. We're just not going to talk about it, okay? we just not going to talk about it. Okay, let me throw something on my lips really quickly and some mascara on my bottom lashes. And then we will check out and try out this Laura Mercier powder. And I'll tell you guys what. I don't think anyone could ever beat out NYX's OG butter glosses. You know what I'm saying? Like, not high-end, not drugstore. I don't think anyone could ever touch their butter glosses. Like, they will always be... A forever favorite of mine. All right, so let's give this Laura Mercier powder here a go. So I'm going to use my Jaclyn Hill brush. Oof, that is powdery. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Holy cow. Okay, so let's just do a light little hand here. Okay, okay. So I honestly thought this was going to be like a thousand more times intense than what it is. I mean, granted, I am using this with, you know, the Highlighting Queens brush. So obviously this does grab a lot of product and really put it on there. But with that said, I didn't think this was going to be as wearable as what it looks like it is. Like, it's just a really pretty highlight. You could really probably dull this down a little bit. Um, this isn't bad. I actually really, really like this. I didn't think I was going to like it that much, but I mean, it's really pretty. It's not really accentuating, you know, the texture or anything on my cheeks, which some highlighters do that. Like I haven't been wearing highlighters as much here lately for that very reason. And I don't think I'm the only one I've noticed like with a lot of influencers, with a lot of beauty gurus, like I'm talking like bigger ones, the tiny ones, I'm not seeing highlighters really being used nearly like what they were a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? So this is the finished look and I'm absolutely loving it, you guys. This pinky purpley vibe with the peach tone eye look is just too perfect for Liam's birthday party later today. And I mean, this palette just arrived just in time. Let me tell you guys, I cannot believe that he's two already. Like, holy cow, two years ago today, I was giving birth to him. Like, well, technically two years ago today, I was feeding him because I actually gave birth to him at like three o'clock in the morning. But you guys get what I'm saying. Like, I just can't believe how fast time has already flown. Like, he was like just learning how to walk literally a year ago today. And he's like, okay, I like that. Yeah, you pick green one. Is that green one better than the other one? Why don't you just plant your face in it, buddy? You can have it, but bub, it's all yours. Okay. And food. your hair. And the hair. Yeah. Just hold shove it, it in his face. Hold it? <laughs> all right. Enough about that. Let's talk about these products. Actually, before we talk about these products, let's talk about the giveaway winner and future giveaway winners because I know I kind of confused some of you guys last time. So let me explain how this works and what's going on. So when I do giveaways, as you guys know that have been here, I do not announce them. I do not put them in my title. I don't put them on my thumbnail because I don't do them to gain new subscribers. Like I don't mind if somebody subscribes to enter the giveaway, but... Like I don't do them for that purpose. I do them for the purpose of giving back to my loyal subscribers. For those of you guys that are always here, no matter what, you watch that video within those first couple hours that they're up, you're always liking, you're always commenting, you're always engaging because that is what helps my channel. So you're helping me and I want to help you. Like if it weren't for you, I wouldn't even be able to do this. And well, I would still, I guess, do it because I love it, but I, I would not make a dime from it. I barely make anything from it now, let's be honest. I mean, this is how much I made last month, you guys. Like, just to show you guys, like, I don't make a lot from this. So when I do these giveaways, like, they are straight up out of my own pocket. You know what I mean? I do them because I appreciate you guys for appreciating me, and I want to support you for supporting me because that's the type of person I am. I am a you know, like I'm a loyal do or die type of person. Like if you're here for me, I'm here for you kind of thing. So that's why I do these giveaways. 
So last month when I drew the giveaway person, so there was a random giveaway winner that I did in the video, but then there was also another giveaway winner. And I said it was in January. I announced it in January, but it was actually for the month of December's videos. So this giveaway winner, even though I'm announcing it in February, it's for January's videos. So this month, the giveaway winner is Heather Hernandez. And let me tell you guys, Heather, always watches every video. She always comments. And even if she disagrees with something that I say, even if she doesn't agree or doesn't like something I say, she does so respectfully. And I respect that so, so much. So I added her onto my loyal subscriber list. I did a little drawing. I pulled her name out of the hat. And Heather Hernandez, you are my loyal subscriber winner for the month of January, even though I'm announcing it and sending your stuff out in February. So anyways, Heather, make sure you hit me up, girl. Send me an email. I will get your stuff out to you as soon as possible. I need your name obviously your address and um, just in case a contact phone number, I don't, you know, you don't have to give it to me, but the post office likes to have it on their stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, <laughs> so that is this month's giveaway winner. If you want to enter in future giveaways, all you got to do is be a subscriber, watch my videos and comment and engage. That's it. That's all you got to do and be respectful. Like don't be a, you know what? All right. So let's talk about these products and my final thoughts on them. So first thing, Boxy Charm, we've been getting a lot of lip balms and a lot of dual eyeliners. Like, I mean, we've been getting an Ipsy, we've been getting a Boxy Charm, just a lot of them. Not that I mind it because obviously it's winter time here. You can we can use a lot of lip balms, but I think I'm good like for quite some time because we've been getting a lot of them, and I'm really good on eyeliners for sure. So this is gonna go in a giveaway for sure. Now, as I told you guys, LMS, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them. I love, love, love some of their products and I hate, hate, hate some of their other ones. So it's kind of hit or miss for me. My skincare routine right now is really on point, you guys. Like I have, I mean, I've got everything like solid under control. It's doing really, really good. So I don't want to mess with that at this moment in time. It's not that I don't want to test new products, but I'm getting ready to leave on vacation. I don't want to be breaking out and all that kind of stuff. So if I do test this out, I might probably wait till I get back from my vacation. You guys understand, you know what I'm saying? But this does look really good. And again, it it's just, I have a hard time with Elemis. It's hit or miss, you guys. It's hit or miss. All right. As far as the Laura Mercier powder, even though I thought this was something else when I you know, picked it as my product. I'm so happy that I received it. It's a highlighter. I mean, let's be real here, but it is a gorgeous highlighter. I mean, it doesn't emphasize texture. It's a baked highlighter. So, I mean, it's like full on powdery when you pick it up with the brush. So, you know, make sure you're not wearing black or something that you need, can't get powder on. I mean, and if so, like, you know, hold it away from you. All right. As far as this, you guys already know. I'm so excited for this and I cannot believe BoxyCharm put this in their box because as I told you all, I was just looking at this. The ingredients is what really caught my eye on Nordstrom's website because even though it's a micellar water, it just had such good ingredients. I mean, I'm excited to give this a go and my hand still feels so amazing from where I wipe those swatches off and stuff. So again, excited for that. As far as the Huda palette, you guys already know, I would of course rather have gotten the green one. However, I am now pretty happy with, I'm happy that I got the purple one. I mean, do I need another purple palette? Never. Do I love having another purple palette? Always. You know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell you guys this. If you're planning on purchasing this palette, it is gorgeous, but this is $29. I would maybe save up and invest for her bigger palettes because I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. This formula of this versus this is night and day. Like this palette, I, I don't know. She like changed her formula or something. This is probably one of her best formulas to date that I've seen in this naughty nude palette. Now discounting minusing this slippery shade there because that just no, no. <laughs> but the rest of this palette it's just amazing. It's absolutely amazing. The formula in it is just beautiful. So if you were like thinking about getting just a Huda palette, 
I'm telling you, this is probably one that I would more look into than these, unless you can pick these up on like boxy pop-up or something for like 12 bucks. You know what I mean? So, I mean, if you can get a deal on these, then yeah, grab them. They're good palettes. You know what I mean? Absolutely. They are a little dusty, but I mean, they're good palettes. It applied really, really well. The eye look turned out beautiful. I mean, you can definitely see the color variations, the peach and the purple and the pink, but it did take some building up and again, they are kind of dusty. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope Heather that you enjoyed hearing your name being called and I really hope you get back to me ASAP. Um, hopefully so I can get your stuff out before I leave for vacation. If not, then it, it'll just get sent out when I get back, girl. All right, until next time, you guys, see ya.